when I woke up, I was encountering with a new experience in my life. They were eagerly waiting to see my result of the next semester. I will hold my hands in the altar and will pray to Lord. Half part of my study is over. I am surrendering the half part fully to you. Come with me with this half part which I don't have. I find it difficult to, to see everything. Someone is near to me, inspiring me to spell each and every word in the book. If you are convinced that you are called, just say yes to Lord Jesus. I am Father Paul Kallikaden. I am a priest belonging to the Catholic Archdiocese of Trichur. It's in Kerala and I am an Indian. I was ordained as a priest uh, nine and a half years back. I'm, my family consists of a father, mother and two siblings. My father was a bank employee, mother was a housewife. My elder brother, now he is working as an engineer abroad. My sister is already married. She is working as an uh, assistant professor in a college. When I recollect my schooling days, uh, I was an average student, or better to say, I was a below average student. I was not at all good in any extracurricular activities, and so I was not at all uh, a sound uh, part of my school, but I was uh, so happy uh, with the pious activities in my church. It was uh, nearly four kilometers away from my house. So when I completed my 10th standard, I was thinking what to do the next. Uh, in the school, I had all these situations, all these years, but I was not at all that happy. But in the church, I was better. To say I was much more happy in the church and related activities. So I thought to up that way, which I, I found happiness, uh, which I found more enthusiastic, uh, which was so, so sound to me, and I joined a seminary. Soon after I joined the seminary, the first struggle I had to face was uh, the homesickness that I had to overcome. Uh, after two weeks, I planned to uh, shut down the course in the seminary. I asked uh, the rector of the seminary that uh, I'm going back to my house. I started packing my luggages and everything. And he asked me to stay for uh, a couple of months. In the end of that month, I could adjust with the seminary studies. I could adjust with the formation there. I started to enter in the extracurricular activities in the seminary uh, and the arts and sports items. And I started to enjoy the days in the seminary. There was no much struggle in the major seminary. And uh, uh, when I went to the theology studies, I was good in my studies. I was there in the best five students in the batch. And uh, first semester and second semester ended in, with good marks. Third and fourth semesters also resulted in the same pattern. And the whole seminary formation and the whole life story turned to the next level of the end of the fourth semester. I still remember the days of May 2012. I was in my house enjoying my vacation days. The 29th, it was the last day of vacation. On 30th, I have to go back to the uh, seminary. So on the 29th night, I was, uh, I went to my room. I slept, keeping all my dreams of uh, priesthood. Next day onwards, uh, it's, uh, seminary is uh, restarting. And uh, next day, when I woke up, I was 
encountering with a new experience in my life because i found it difficult to, to see everything suddenly i realized that i lost the vision of my left eye it was fully blind full of darkness but i was managed to do see everything with my right i took my luggage and and went back to the seminary and when i was entering to the seminary i was thinking this is my last year of seminary formation and with this ill health it's not uh, able to complete the courses in the seminary it's not able to achieve my dreams of priesthood i entered the seminary i informed the superiors uh, related with the matters uh, concerning my eyes the next day they took me to the hospital uh, doctors examined and they told that the vision of left eye is gone and it's not that easy to regain and we started treatment together with the seminary formation i got discharged from the hospital and i went back to the seminary and each and every day i had to take uh, medicines i have to use drops in my eyes and i was attending the classes together with this treatment my seminary days no i, I told you it's my third year last year of formation i had to study much and more uh, canon law the sacraments confession and everything and it's not that easy to study all these things with my single eye but i managed to study or better to say holy spirit helped me to study and i, I was facing this struggle my superiors was in a big question they, they they was they were thinking that how i could be a priest with this single eye so let him go back to the house do the treatment and if he got cured let him come back for the studies and they were eagerly waiting to see my result of the next semester because the result will prove how i can study surely we need the sight of the eyes to uh, express everything in the classrooms we need this sight we have to present something you have to Uh, you should have this sight and the result came in the first time in my life i got second rank in my batch with this single eye in the seminary days especially in the days of my examinations usually i am a good student in the class i will not spend much more time for studies I will go through all the lessons and when I am going to the exams and just before the exam hall I will go to the church and I will hold my hands in the altar and will pray to Lord we had a chapel for our batch it's called a batch chapel and I will go there hold my hands in the altar and I will say half part of my study is over and I am surrendering the half part fully to you. Come with me with this half part which I don't have. Our seminary was uh, affiliated to the University of Leuven. It's in Belgium. We have to uh, do com- several computer work. And uh, I managed it. My friends also helped me to do some computer works. And uh, finally, I submitted my presentation to the guide. The uh, guide forwarded it to the uh, University of Leuven. all glory be to jesus the result came with a comment that this study should be encouraged for higher studies which means this candidate should be promoted for higher studies in the history of uh, our seminary with my limited sight i could achieve this commendry of appreciation and all glory be to Jesus because it's not out of my effort but his effort made me uh, somewhat uh, good in the studies and the immediate preparation for the ordination started then i was the first one in my parish 
to be ordained there was no more priest in my parish so all my parishioners were eagerly waiting for my day of ordination it was planned and fixed on the 1st january 2013 i was so happy of the date my parishioners was praying they were preparing everything because they have not seen the priest ordination ordination for the priesthood um, they started to pray for me i myself went for a several retreats and i was preparing so getting closer to the altar i went to buy new chalis for the first mass went to the tailor uh, to wear new vestments for the uh, ceremony of the ordination and each and every day the countdown is going down down and down myself was preparing my relatives family members all are concentrating upon that day of ordination first day of the december i prayed in front of the altar that next january 1st i will be there in the altar as a priest first day of december crossed second third fifth tenth and the 14th day of december came it was the night i prayed keeping all my dreams so closer to the altar next day when i wake up i find it difficult to to see everything because i had lost the vision of my right i do on that morning i became a blind the shock of blindness which triggered that morning slowly faded we went to the hospital doctor asked me to get admission after a week they discharged me all the air efforts were futile i went to the hospital as a blind i got discharged from the hospital as a blind and i came back to my house and remained in the bed in my house in the immediate preparation of my ordination in tears my younger sister and my aunt to help me to study um, the prayers in the uh, holy mass i followed a different pattern to study holy mass we took the rosary and we will uh, do a decade of the rosary and we will start uh, studying a prayer At the end of the prayer again we will do one more decade and uh, by reciting the rosary we started to study the prayers in the uh, holy mass i don't know how to share the feelings of that night because i feared that there may might be an objection for my ordination the next day morning january 1st i woke up i reached the bishop's house i and the bishop together lived prayed for nearly 2 hours and in between the prayer i told my bishop that i am struggling with my sight i don't know how far he could understood my feelings he asked me not to get fear get out of the room take your coffee breakfast get prepared and come back i asked what for let's go for the ordination you don't worry together with the bishop we reached the parish and the ceremonies of the ordination started without any difficulty prayers started after the second part i had to kneel down in front of the bishop hold the hands started the anointing prayer and after the second prayer of uh, anointing i became the priest in the order of melchizedek i became priest in the holy catholic church i came to the altar to offer the holy mass 
the book was opened for me and i realized that i'm not able to see the letters of prayers in the book i closed my eyes i started to pray from the first to qurban onwards i was feeling that i'm not alone there is someone near to me we have to recite the prayers and i am experience i was experiencing that someone is near to me inspiring me to spell each and every word in the book which i recited for the first time all alone when the holy mass concluded i was feeling that somebody is with me doing all the things all the things and i was feeling the presence of god with me when i took the jesus the holy bread in my hand actually i had a confusion the direction of the holy host i don't know how to express it clearly usually when the celebrant raised the hands the holy eucharist will be in a correct position but i was wondering which position it is situating yes is it in a correct position or not i had fear i don't know how to express it when i raised the hands i was i i can't i cannot see even the eucharist clearly but after the mass several persons told me that when you raised the holy eucharist they saw the image of jesus in the holy eucharist i was appointed as a assistant parish priest but i could uh, administer as a assistant there only for 3 and 1/2 months i got transferred as i was sick my disease is actually called as a bichet's disease it's an autoimmune disorder it's a, not an ordinary disease and uh, i had to take uh, an injection thrice a month in indian money it will cost around 100000 per injection i took 10 vial of injections and at last the doctor told me we shall uh, stop that injection because the body is not at all supporting the injection doctor has asked me to take a new injection the spot of that injection was the specialty of that injection i had to take that injection in the cornea of my eye i still remember i took 35 injections and it was so painful it was it made me so panic but each and every moment when the needle pierced my eyes i prayed in the operation table that jesus i love you and after the injection i still be closed and they will help me to come out of the operation theater and such a way i took 35 injections after that doctors asked me to take immunosuppressors i have to start steroids in high dosages and as a result i lost the normal metabolism of my body each and every month i was getting weak uh, my friends or my authorities will be taking me to the hospital i will be admitted in the hospital and after 2 years of my ordination i was seriously sick i fall down in the hospital i was taken to the icu and after further after several checkup they found that my blood pressure was getting low they realized the bp fall and uh, they managed to do several medicine to elevate the level of blood pressure it did not cause any result they called my archbishop he came prayed for me they told the young priest is going to die so my friends came started crying 
But the fact was that I was not at all realizing the situation. I was in a semi-conscious way. And that night, God made a miracle. When the next day came, my BP level was normal. But I had to stay back in the hospital. And actually, I was there in the hospital for six more years. They took me to the sanatorium, near to the hospital. I was there as a 23rd inmate in the sanatorium. Sanatorium is a place where old and sick priests were taken care. And I was there as a 23rd one. At that time, I was the worst physical, uh, I was the person with the worst physical health. Soon after I managed it in my health, I told you, you know, I lost my vision. It's a sudden loss of vision. Slept yes, last night with the sight, lost the sight next morning. The same pattern. I slept last night without sight. And the next day, when I woke up, God made a miracle in my life. Jesus gave back me the sight in my right eye. And I started to see the world again. In the beginning days, I was uh, using tab for uh, reading the gospel. We know each and every day we have to read different passages in the Holy Mass. I was using tab. So magnifying the text of the gospel, I started to read uh, the passages of uh, each and every day using the tab. At a time, I lost such a vision to use the tab. Magnified letters were not seen on those days. I asked Jesus, what can I do more? Without uh, reading the gospel, I cannot offer the Holy Mass. Next day onwards, Jesus gave me a new gift. I don't know how far you will accept it. Next day onwards, Jesus started to teach me the passages of gospel for the next Holy Mass. And uh, around eight years completed, daily, I will study the passages of the gospel. I will recite it as proclaiming the gospel without using the gospel. Now, when I regain the uh, vision, I am able to read the gospel passage by looking in the gospel. But today also, I have given Lord Jesus a word that Lord gave me the gift to proclaim the gospel when I was a blind man. The greatest miracle together with my ordination was that Jesus gave me a special ability never to say a complaint related with my sickness. I know still I am bearing the same disease. I know it's a genetic disease that I have not complained. Lord gave me a special anointing not to do any complaint about my sickness. In the same ICU, I was admitted once. I started praying for the patients who are going through the same agony which I went through once. Do you know what's the beautiful thing happened in my life? My darkness. My blindness. People perceive blindness as darkness. Okay, to some extent it is true. But for me, it was an entry to brightness. The source of my light was the Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Those who are listening to me now, I wish to say, if you are convinced that you are called, even though you are undergoing any agony, you are undergoing any suffering, any trouble, if you are convinced that you are called, just to say yes to 
Lord Jesus. He will take you amidst all your sufferings. He will lead you amidst your agony. He will take you from darkness to light. My life is a miracle. Every child has a story of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story.